Now, sometimes neither the X's or the Y's are opposite. In that case, you need to use multiplication to obtain opposites before you can add the two equations. Okay? So, we need to figure out what we want to cancel. And then we're going to have to multiply stuff out. Okay? So, you can look at your X's and look at the Y's. Which ones look easier to cancel out? Well, I noticed that the x done, there's only a 1 on the bottom. So I can multiply everything by 6 to obtain opposites. And you're like, yo, Mr. Grace, that makes no sense at all, man. Well, just watch. 6 times 1 gives us 6x. And the key thing here is I want these to be opposites. Are those opposites now? Yes, good. But now I have to keep multiplying everything so I don't really change the equation. 6 times negative 2 gives us negative 12y. And then 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, well that was step 1. Now we're going to add the equations up. Negative 6 plus 6, those cancel just like we wanted. Negative 5 plus negative 12 is negative 17y equals 28 plus 6 gives us 34. Is the y by itself? Nope. So I have to divide both sides by negative 17. And what does y equal? y equals negative 2. Now, if it helps you to draw the ordered pair to make sure that you get both numbers first, that's fine. Okay? Now, I'm not done yet because I don't know what x equals. So, I would pick the bottom equation. Let's go ahead and plug in the negative 2. Pause that video and solve that on your own. Good luck. Okay, and you should have gotten x equals negative 3, which gives us the point negative 3, negative 2.